awesome! The Bible says I can see clearly now. They're probably drag queens or something. And there's no way I'm following a drag queen down a dark alley ever again. <laughs> yeah, you just show people your tongue when you like them like this. And, and your bum when you hate them like this. Yeah? That's bloody Maoris. Don't be racial, Dad. Warning side for life. We only ever have one rule when it comes to writing anything, and that's, is it funny? Naked Samoans. Yeah, and it's our pleasure to bring you fresh this morning. Fresh airs! Fresh Yes, it is! Just making a bit of breakfast in the back here for the boys. Oh, don't help, don't help, guys. It's okay. Here's what you can expect on the show today. I did not get the Islander good singing voice gene. <laughs> so dance is my, is my weapon. When the streets are filled with danger. When crime lurks around every corner. You need the best. You need Lady Cobb. Now we're pretty gun at being fresh. Renona, in fact. Really, really? Yeah. According to whom? Your mum. Oh. oh. Why did you have to do a your mum joke? I know. I know. Yeah. Sorry, mum. Anyway, here's some uh, others who respect their mums, because they're keeping it fresh. <laughs> It's about the next generation of Sevens players and giving them an, an opportunity to be on the world stage. Especially for us Pacific Islanders, trying to get our countries out there, trying to rip it as hard as we can. You know, just play for all our hearts. Like us, we're Māori hard, we'll basically rather go for Playing for Maldives than New Zealand, in, yeah. so you know, just do it for our country. To be able to represent um, our, our country and like learning the culture even more, being brought up in New Zealand is just mm. a fantastic opportunity and just very grateful. Mati ma Maori. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. As long as they have heritage and they're under 18 years of age. We don't mind how many generations it goes back because Rugby League World Cup, is, it's given a, an opportunity for kids to play for who's beating in their heart the loudest. I can, uh, I think I can speak on behalf of the team. Amazing experience. Uh, the boys loved it. It was just hey, It's unreal. a different game down here. It's, yeah. it's amazing. Uh, come and see in the country. It's a beautiful country. I love it. We all learned a lot. I think um, it shouldn't affect uh, their decisions. For example, if the, some of the Tongan and Samoan boys have opted to play for the heritage instead of New Zealand, I, I know from, from our camp it doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's about pride and it's who they want to play for. I think in the, in the bigger scheme of things, it's young people making their choices uh, with where they feel comfortable to play with. I had nothing like this back in my day, so in terms of the national exposure, um, it's really awesome. Great opportunity on the world stage, the world's the oyster when it comes to you know sevens and contracts and opportunities for these school kids. So I think being exposed to it now at, at an early stage, I can get a fair idea and an understanding of I guess what it takes at that next level. And hopefully a lot of the names you hear here at the World School Sevens event, you know, you'll be hearing on the international stage in a, in a few years and maybe at the Olympics in the, in the future. Sorry about that, that's uh, my wife. She said, behave yourselves. Come on, guys, we need to think out of the box. Oh. Like that guy, Fez Fanana. Right? He's pretty fresh out of the box. Fez Fanana? Yeah. The guy from Sesame Street. Fanana. <laughs> I did not get the, the Islander good singing voice gene. <laughs> so dance is my, is my weapon. I am Fiu Yuane Efeso Fanana. I'm um, 
uh, bearded lady and uh, the ringmaster of the circus. <laughs> I give you a man who needs no introduction. I'm the director of um, this variety show, so it's, it's circus in a, with a modern twist. It's drag with an irreverent feel. It's uh, burlesque with guts and comedy with, um, with a political bar. I think it's, bottom line, it's entertainment. So I wanted to make this show that was about demonstrating to people how extraordinary humans can be and about how simple the human body is and how I think it's about celebrating and acknowledging differences and celebrating and acknowledging similarities. And, I, and essentially I'm just unfolding what's, what it, the ideas that I have in my brain and they turn out to be me turning into a giant bearded lady drag queen idiot. <laughs> We're a storytelling show-off people. <laughs> and, I, and I think if that's my vehicle, if that's my tool, then yeah, I should just own it and just keep making work. And, and I'm, not the, I'm not the most, I'm not the traditional Samoan. Uh, Samoan culture is about reflecting your habitat and, and, and reflecting uh, your lifestyle. My lifestyle is, is being an Australian Samoan born in New Zealand. So I'm, I guess I just need to acknowledge and and represent that, that kind of, that contemporary angle. So one thing that will always survive in times of turmoil is creativity and, and, and it doesn't cost anything. Hey, uh, make sure you just come back after the break. Yeah, and check out how we got ended up in this lovely retreat. That's right, we're gonna take you into the crazy world of the naked Samoans. Before social media, no, you always, we always got Robbie oh, to take man. off his, his T-shirt and make all the girls just, yeah! That's what we should do for our social media. And uh, for our Facebook and our Twitter. Coog! Ah! Cougar! Yeah, nah, so it's talking bear, uh, to Jerry, bear, all these things, um, you know, Tony was up to the other day. Oh, well, I never. That is a cougar, mate. Yeah, she is a beauty. Ooh. Tell you what, what year you reckon she is? Oh, 74. Mustang? Mustang salad. Beautiful car, mate. That is a very cougar. Beauty. Beauty car. Welcome back to Fresh. We're the Naked Samoans. We're the Naked Welcome to Fresh. <laughs> I missed the bus on that one, sorry. So, so this is an Our World interview? Yeah. yeah. All right, one more. Yeah. Welcome to Our World. Right, welcome, welcome to Our World. Welcome. All right, one more. Yeah. We're the Naked Samoans. Welcome to Our World. Our World. Yeah. Our world. Yeah. Our world. Yeah. Our world. Dave. Dave sends his love. Yep. He said he was filming. But I uh, caught up with him last night, and he's actually doing something else. <laughs> El, la llave está en ese gabinete. So he, he lied. He's lied. What? He'll be back. Stop this once was mate stuff. It's like we've been naked someone's longer than not in our lives. So. Been mates first, and then the work has been an excuse to hang out. No, 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 no. The question was, why do we decide to come back to you? Yeah, well, what's your answer? So what's your answer to that? I'm still formulating my oh. answer. A magic show? No. No, we're not doing that now? And I'm not even too sure if magic is, is, is the... It's not really the point of the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or even the right word. Um... OK. Yeah. Theatre yeah. show. If you're going to go and do something like get back on stage, you can't just do that same old shit. The way we work is we, we find stuff that we we think is funny and we just go and attack it and it's really loose. I can't! She's, she's too beautiful! She's got a beard! <laughs> that's, that's not a beard, that's a beauty spot. <laughs> a beauty spot that goes all around her mouth. <laughs> Dude, she's so hairy, Sasha Ross came and took a photo of her! I'm nervous about the show. Mm. It's gonna test us in a way other shows haven't tested us. 
We have never had a director before. We've always directed ourselves and stuff like that. So even on that level, like, this is a totally different new thing for all of us. Nina Ngawalawalo from the Conch Theatre, amazing. They do real magical stuff, real visually really beautiful stuff. And she, she actually approached us. And as Robbie said, we've been talking about getting back on stage. So it seemed a, a happy coincidence. Boys just did their first RPM. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well done, lads. Yeah. We look like you, Robbie Simmons. To you guys at home, it seems like there's months of training, yeah. but we just shot that. It was like one week of hour. intense activity. Yeah. We just do one spin class and do lots of little photos from that one spin class. <laughs> yeah. And then it's time a, it out. Take your t-shirt, take your t-shirt. Hey, Shane, when are we going to do some hard shit? That's what I want to know. We can get away with that stuff 20 years ago, kind of just turning up, but uh, not these days. But the show is physically demanding too. And, uh, you know, so, mm. yeah, we need to be at a certain Level yeah. fitness. That it is. In a vain type of way, but not in a vain way. <laughs> almost, yeah. almost, but not quite in a vain way. <laughs> the last time we were on stage, there was no social media. I've been getting trolled a couple of times this week already. <laughs> oh, that was I, I got one. What did you get? What did you get? Hey, Stanley, you put on weight. Don't right. do that, Dave. <laughs> funny. Bro, why? <laughs> hurtful. It's probably Dave that's been me as well, man. Stop fake profiles <laughs> and leaving hurtful comments on our pages. <laughs> Before social media, no, you always, we always got Robbie to take off his, his t-shirt and make all the girls just, yeah! That's what we should do for our social media and for our Facebook and our Twitter. It is not the, you know, it's not the, the, the island magic. Uh, as such, there's a whole lot of different elements that, uh, that uh, go into making this type of magic. Oh, whoa, there's a peak. Move to the, yeah, move to where it was. Oh. We're not really comedians, we still act as first storytellers. And so um, all our shows have always had, you know, try to have a message, so we don't just turn up, you know, and do dad jokes. Even though we're all dads. Yeah. yeah. What is the most fun game in the world? Capitalism. War, War is, is fun, fun too, too, but, but you, you run, run out, out of people. people. We can get, we could get deep and meaningful about it, but at the end of the day, you know, you, you go to watch a show to, to enjoy it, and if you don't enjoy it, then sure, thank you for the money, and, yeah. and if you did enjoy it, then we've done our job as, as performers. So. Yeah. Any show, every show is about the audience. Yeah. 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 That's actually the yeah. exciting thing about yeah. always doing yeah. anything, is like, will you suck or will you be okay? Yeah. We're not That's scared of sucking. Boy. But yeah. yeah, the show is about hope. You know, that is the, one of the main things about the show, so mm. we hope How do you know? we don't suck. Or That's what we put on the poster. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's on the poster, it says, Nick and Sam wants to do magic, a show about hope. What? I haven't seen that poster. So you're the new lady around the town. Heard so much about you. Partner. I don't need a partner. Lunch. Avalanche. I'm so hungry, 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 hungry. Well, go eat your lunch then. But I don't ever lunch. But I ever lunch. Yeah, I know. That's why I was asking if I can have your lunch. Avalanche. Welcome back to Fresh, where the naked are born. We're just about to have some breakfast. Guys, what's, what's, what's fresh tings? Fresh tings? Fresh tings is everything fresh, like fresh, fresh, fresh jokes. Fresh, fresh tings. Fresh juice. Fresh undies. Fresh, fresh undies. Why have they taken the H out? Oh, how's that trend? Warm Pacific greetings. Horsey, horsey, mate matonga, despacito. Ladies and gentlemen, it saddens me to uh, inform you all 
The streets of South Auckland are out of control. The crime rates are the highest we've ever seen. The good people of the city live in fear. 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 We should fear. No. We shall not live in fear. So we've brought in the best of the best. It is an honour and privilege to introduce to you all Lady Decock. Any questions? Text me later. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> See you later. Oh, wrong way. When the streets are filled with danger, when crime lurks around every corner, you need the best. You need Lady Cobb. Then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. Hello, Lily. I'm the chief of police. People around here call me chief. Feel free to do so as well. Um, you must be late. Lady Cop. Search for the Tongan military, Army, Navy, Secret Services, expertise in martial arts, forensic, lay detector, computer hacking, and ballistics. So you've been doing your homework, huh? Indeed I have. It's taken me almost two days to look for your file, and I must say, tick, tick, tick. Thank you. But also, I need to know who I'm working with. You are working with the best. I sure am. Well, let's not waste time. What's my assignment? Sister, come lalo. Hey. This is your first day in Nukwalofa town. Dark yai. Alrighty. Let me introduce to you your new partner. Naku! Yes, Chief? Did you call my name? Go. Ha! So you're the new lady around town. Heard so much about you. Partner. I don't need a partner. That's awkward. Mm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My job is to keep you safe. These streets, they're different. <laughs> All right, your first assignment is to get to know the town and the locals. Bring back hope to these people. That's why I am here. I love my people, but Tongans sometimes can be crazy. Mm. Sweet. Let's go. Nako, rule number one. You always have mm. to keep up with me at all times. Mm. Hey, what's that? Mm. Sorry. I've got to tell you, Nako's code name is short or Nakoleptic. You are teaming me up with someone that has a sleeping disorder? It's only a temporary until you get the hang of these streets. Oh, my God. Morning. How are you today? Good. Yep. So do who? Hey, kids. Hello. Staying out of trouble, eh? Yeah. Mm-mm. <sighs> There's something isn't right around here. There's something isn't right around here. What's mm. wrong? Oliver. Mm. There's something isn't right around here. Take the back, I'll take the front. Hey, go back! Has Lady Cop finally met her match? How did Narco make it into the police force? And why have pork buns gone up to two dollars? Find out on the next episode of Lady Cop.
Thank you, Fresh Heads, for joining us on the show this morning. Yeah, make sure you come back next week if you're still alive. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. And make sure you buy tickets for our show. It's on in four days' time. Woo! March 22nd to the 25th at the Civic in Auckland, if yep. you're in Auckland. Back on stage after 12 years. We are the next star, boys! So far, so far. For the groom side, what did you guys want to do? It's like a magic mic. It's a family show. It's not that much magic, just a little bit. I'm gonna double, I'm gonna double tie my strings. Double tie my strings. <laughs>